Question 57.15. Questioner, then if a pyramid shape is used, it would seem to me that it would be necessary to make it large enough so that the queen's chamber position would be far enough from the king's chamber position so that you could use that energy position and not be harmed by the energy position of the king's chamber position. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. In this application a pyramid shape may be smaller if the apex angle is less, thus not allowing the formation of the king's chamber position. Also efficacious for this application are the following shapes, the silo, the cone, the dome, and the teepee. Question 57.16 Questioner, do these shapes that you just mentioned have any of the effect of the king's chamber at all, or do they have only the queen's chamber effect? Answer, I am Ra. These shapes have the queen's chamber effect. It is to be noted that a strongly crystallized entity is, in effect, a portable king's chamber position. Question 57.17 Questioner, then are you saying that there is absolutely no need, use or good in having the king's chamber effect at this time in our planetary evolution? Answer, I am Ra. If those who desired to be healers were of a crystallized nature and were all supplic hands, those wishing less distortion, the pyramid would be, as always, a carefully designed set of parameters to distribute light and its energy so as to aid in healing catalyst. However, we found that your peoples are not distorted towards the desire for purity to a great enough extent to be given this powerful and potentially dangerous gift. We, therefore, would suggest it not be used for healing in the traditional, shall we say, king's chamber configuration which we naively gave to your peoples only to see its use grossly distorted and our teachings lost. Question 57.18 Questioner, what would be an appropriate apex angle for a tip shape for our uses? Answer, I am Ra. This is at your discretion. The principle of circular, rounded or peaked shapes is that the center acts as an invisible inductive coil. Thus the energy patterns are spiraling and circular. Thus the choice of the most pleasant configuration is yours. The effect is relatively fixed. Question 57.19 Questioner, is there any variation in the effect with respect to the material of construction, the thickness of the material? Is it simply the geometry of the shape or is it related to some other factors? Answer, I am Ra. The geometry, as you call it, or relationships of these shapes and their configuration is the great consideration. It is well to avoid stannous material or that of lead or other baser metals. Wood, plastic, glass, and other materials may all be considered to be appropriate. Question 57.20 Questioner, if a pyramid shape were placed below an entity, how would this be done? Would it be placed beneath the bed? I'm not quite sure about how to energize the entity by placing it below. Could you tell me how to do that? Answer, I am Ra. Your assumption is correct. If the shape is of appropriate size it may be placed directly beneath the cushion of the head or the pallet upon which the body complex rests. We again cautioned that the third spiral of upward lining light, that which is emitted from the apex of this shape, is most deleterious to an entity in overdose and should not be used over long. Question 57.21 Questioner, what would the height be, in centimeters, of one of these pyramids for best functioning? Answer, I am Ra. It matters not. Only the proportion of the height of the pyramid from base to apex to the perimeter of the base is at all important. Question 57.22. Questioner, what should the proportion be? Answer, I am Ra. This proportion should be the 1.16 which you may observe. Question 57.23. Questioner, do you mean that the sum of the four base sides should be 1.16 of the height of the pyramid? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 57.24. Questioner, by saying that the queen's chamber was the initiatory place, could you tell me what you mean by that? Answer, I am Ra. This question is a large one. We cannot describe initiation in its specific sense due to our distortion towards the belief understanding that the process which we offered so many of your years ago was not a balanced one. However, you are aware of the concept of initiation and realize that it demands the centering of the being upon the seeking of the creator. 
We have hoped to balance this understanding by enunciating the law of one, that is, that all things are one creator. Thus seeking the creator is done not just in meditation and in the work of an adept but in the experiential nexus of each moment. The initiation of the Queen's Chamber has to do with the abandoning of self to such desire to know the Creator in full that the purified in streaming light is drawn in balanced fashion through all energy centers, meeting in indigo and opening the gate to intelligent infinity. Thus the entity experiences true life or, as your people call it, resurrection. Question 57.25 Questioner, you also mentioned that the pyramid was used for learning. Was this the same process or is there a difference? Answer, I am Ra. There is a difference. Question 57.26 Questioner, what is the difference? Answer, I am Ra. The difference is the presence of other selves manifesting in space-time and after some study in time-space, for the purpose of teach learning. In the system created by us, schools were apart from the pyramid, the experience is being solitary. Question 57.27 Questioner, I didn't quite understand what you meant by that. Could you tell me more of what you are talking about? Answer, I am Ra. This is a wide subject. Please restate for specificity. Question 57.28 Questioner, did you mean that teachers from your vibration or density were manifest in the Queen's Chamber to teach those initiates, or did you mean something else? Answer, I am Ra. In our system experiences in the Queen's Chamber position were solitary. In Atlantis and in South America teachers shared the pyramid experiences. Question 57.29 Questioner, how did this learning process take place, learning or teaching, in the pyramid? Answer, I am Ra. How does teach learning and learn teaching ever take place? Question 57.30 Questioner, the dangerous pyramid shape for use today would be a four-sided pyramid that was large enough to create the king's chamber effect. Is that statement correct? Answer, I am Ra. This statement is correct with the additional understanding that the 76 degrees apex angle is that characteristic of the powerful shape. Question 57.31 Questioner, then I am assuming that we should not use a pyramid of 76 degrees at the apex angle under any circumstances. Is that correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is at your discretion. Question 57.32. Questioner, I will restate the question. I am assuming then that it might be dangerous to use a 76 degrees angle pyramid, and I will ask what angle less than 76 degrees would be roughly the first angle that would not produce this dangerous effect. Answer, I am Ra. Your assumption is correct. The lesser angle may be any angle less than 70 degrees. Question 57.33 Questioner, thank you. I want to go on with more questioning on the pyramid, but I want to ask a question that, name, is here. I'll throw it in at this point. Could you please expand on the concept of space-time and time-space and how to get past this concept and what density level do these concepts no longer affect the individual? Answer, I am Ra. This will be the last full query of this working. This instrument has some vital energy left. However, we become concerned with the increasing distortions of the body complex towards pain. The space-time and time-space concepts are those concepts describing as mathematically as possible the relationships of your illusion, that which is seen to that which is unseen. These descriptive terms are clumsy. They, however, suffice for this work. In the experiences of the mystical search for unity, these need never be considered, for they are but part of an illusory system. The seeker seeks the one. The one is to be sought, as we have said, by the balanced and self-accepting self-aware, both of its apparent distortions and its total perfection. Resting in this balanced awareness, the entity then opens the self to the universe which it is. The light energy of all things may then be attracted by this intense seeking, and wherever the inner seeking meets the attracted cosmic pran, realization of the one takes place. The purpose of clearing each energy center is to allow that meeting place to occur at the indigo ray vibration, thus making contact with intelligent infinity and dissolving all illusions. 
service to others is automatic at the released energy generated by this state of consciousness. The space-time and time-space distinctions, as you understand them, do not hold sway except in third density. However, fourth, fifth, and to some extent, sixth, work within some system of polarized space-time and time-space. The calculation necessary to move from one system to another through the dimensions are somewhat difficult. Therefore, we have the most difficulty sharing numerical concepts with you and take this opportunity to repeat our request that you monitor our numbers and query any that seem questionable. Is there a brief query that we may answer before we leave this instrument? Question 57.34 Questioner, is there anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable or to improve the contact? Answer, I am Ra. All is harmonious. We greet you all in joy. The adjustments are satisfactory. I am Ra. I leave you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing in the power and in the peace of the one infinite creator. Adonai.